I'm Sam Blau. I'm here from the Maryland Science Center. We're going to talk today about what you can do to get ready for the eclipse and some things you should not do when you're viewing the eclipse. So first things first, are my eclipse glasses safe? Well, your eclipse glasses first and foremost should have some sort of shaded lens on them. And after that, you need to look for uh, something that says the ISO, the International Standards Organization. It should have their seal on it and a number, and you can reference that number against their website to make sure that your eclipse glasses are safe for viewing the sun. Now, you might have something that looks like it could be a pair of eclipse glasses, but if it doesn't have that International Standards Organization seal of approval on it, don't use them. Good rule of thumb, if you wouldn't use it to look at the sun any other day of the year, it's not going to be safe for the eclipse. So that includes your sunglasses. We are going to talk about what you can do if you don't have a pair of eclipse glasses because there's a lot of great ways and creative ways to be able to view the eclipse. So if you've got a kitchen drawer at home with some kitchen utensils, you probably have an Eclipse viewer. We've got some different crazy kitchen stuff and we're going to show you how you can use it to safely view the Eclipse. So I've got my funnel here and when I point it towards the sun, the light can come through here and funnel through our hole. So we're going to project that at a whiteboard. Just going to angle it down and once I can see a perfect circle of light. I know I'm catching the sun's light and I'll be able to view the eclipse without looking at the sun. So as the moon passes in front of the sun's light on Monday, it'll cast a shadow and I'll be able to capture that right here in my funnel viewer. Now we've also got some other kitchen items including straws. These are kind of fun. They're not as good as our funnel, but they're kind of silly. So it takes a little bit more practice trying to figure out where the sun's angle is. There it is. And so if you want to see multiple eclipses, you could try taping or rubber banding some straws together. So we've also got our handy dandy cheese grater. Now you want to make sure you've got a cheese grater that's got full circles. Some of them have uh, wedge shapes. That's not going to work. So we're going to want to find one that has full circles in it. And again, we just bring it over to our whiteboard and we're just looking for a really clear, crisp shadow. So once I've got that and the circles look good, I know that I'm ready to view my eclipse. And again, we can have multiple eclipses, which is pretty neat. And finally, our pasta strainer. Again, lots of holes, make sure that they're in a circle shape. And if we bring it on over, we're just going to angle it so we get maximum hole and we can see some nice clear shadow, lots of circles, which means we're going to see lots of shadows when it comes time for the eclipse. Okay, so maybe you're at home and you don't have a lot of kitchen utensils that you could use to view the eclipse. That's okay, you can make your own pinhole viewer as long as you've got a can of your very favorite potato crisps. So make sure that it's empty, you've eaten all the crisps in there. Uh, you're also going to need a robust uh, push pin or maybe even a nail. Uh, we've got some tape, an X-Acto knife or box cutter, scissors, a pen, and some type of card stock, either a postcard or index card. So we're going to take our robust push pin, pop it in the top there, and just make sure we push hard so we've got a nice clean hole in the top of our can. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we make a viewing hole in the side of our can here. So I've got my box cutter, and I'm just going to cut out a little rectangle carefully in the side of my can. So I can just pop that down. I've got a nice viewer there. And I want to make sure that my clear lid is not clear anymore because that's where we will be projecting the sun onto. So that's where our cardstock comes in handy for us. Just going to trace the circle out. and we'll cut the circle out. It's 
So now I've got a clean white viewing screen to see my eclipse. I can pop it in here if I need to, I can tape it down and then pop this on top. I can view through the side while aiming this at the sun and that's how we're going to safely view our solar eclipse. Okay, so if you're stuck at work on Monday and you're not gonna be able to get out to a museum like the Maryland Science Center to see the eclipse, grab a coffee cup from the uh, break room. So you've got your coffee cup, you're also gonna need the lid for it as well. So what we're gonna need to do is make a pinhole viewer. We're going to need some type of straight pin, safety pin, thumbtack, uh, and we're going to pop that in to the lid and get a really nice teeny tiny hole if you need to or would like to spin that pin around just so you get a nice clean hole. We're going to pop the lid on top just like that and then the last thing we need is a pair of scissors or box cutter or exacto knife. We're going to cut a little square outside of one side of the coffee cup. So we've got our view screen now. I'm going to make sure that when I watch the eclipse, I either tape over the lip here or put my thumb over it so that the only light coming in is gonna be coming in through this top hole right here. I'm gonna angle that at the sun and look down into my view screen and I can see inside there's a small tiny sun in here and I'll be able to see as the shadow of the moon passes in front of the sun using my coffee cup pinhole viewer. So thanks for watching our video. Hopefully you'll be able to come out and visit us here at the Maryland Science Center on Monday. We'll have lots of activities going on to get ready for the eclipse. We'll be making some of our very own eclipse viewers here at the museum. If you aren't able to uh, come and see it here in our beautiful observatory, uh, we recommend that you definitely check out NASA's live stream of the event as well.